again. Here I am again. I hope you took your books home because like I said, my um, my camera on my phone is not that great. So taking pictures with that camera, it's it, you can't really read. One of you, the last time I sent pictures said to me, hey, I answered the questions, but I'm not sure I couldn't read it really well because it was blurry. I have a scanner that hasn't worked in years. I would like to get it fixed because when you scan the pages, it's a lot easier to read. Anyway, I don't remember if I assigned all the pages that I wanted to assign, but do as much as you can and at the very least 164, 165 I've, I just want to make sure that you have enough work for the day since you have 2 times 90 minutes, 180 minutes today. Mine is the break. So you have to have a lot of work. I can't just give you, okay, just look at this one, but I have to give you a bit more today. So um, I'm sorry I couldn't be there, but I'm getting... I have to I have to do that for my safety and for everybody else's. All right. So here's what I want you to do today. Page 164, 165, 166, 167, and I believe I also assigned 168 and 169. But if you don't have the time to work on that, it's fine, because we can do that in class on Friday. If you do, if you, for example, do the other four pages, 164, 165, 166, 167, and you're on a roll and you're like, oh, I can still keep going. I still have half an hour. I'm going to keep, then do the whole thing. And then when we do discuss that in class, you will already know what we're talking about, which will be, yay, fantastic. So I'm really excited about going in for today. So this is not going to be a long lecture on video. It will not, but it will be meaningful and it will you are required to be here. The text we're going to talk about now is this one. This is it. All I really need to know, I learned in kindergarten. Before we even start, I want you to tell me and think about it before you answer it. How old? How old are you in Norway when you absolutely have to go to school? Type in your answer. Of course, you have kindergarten, Bannehage, which is translated into kindergarten. And you can go when you're a baby. Mothers have to work. And some, some mothers will send their kids to kindergarten when they are babies, right? But you're not required to go. You have to start school, and I'm talking about first grade, at what age? So let us just say that 
between kindergarten and first grade, we have something called preschool. In most countries, there is a, a difference between kindergarten and preschool. What do you do in kindergarten, really? Please type some, some activities, two activities that you do in kindergarten. You mostly play and you learn different things about shapes. Maybe you learn your first numbers. You, you, you learn how to write your name, right? Those are things that you learn in kindergarten. Preschool, and I'm not talking about Norway per se, because I feel like kids are in kindergarten until they're five and when they're six, they have to go to first grade. So, but in, in many countries, in preschool is when you learn some, some of the things you will need in order to start first grade. What I'm going to put here is the system as, in, as it is in the United States. You have kindergarten, preschool, elementary school. You have something called junior high and then high school. I have heard a lot of people say, oh, high school, high school, eh? That's not what it means. That is not what it means. High school, eh? Is not high school. High school would be translated into Norwegian as is what you're doing now. So that's what it is. Høyskole is more of the equivalent to college. So let me put some numbers here for you to understand what I mean. This is just there. So what we have in the United States, you have kindergarten, you have preschool, you have elementary school, which is from first grade to fifth grade. And I believe here in Norway, that whole thing from first grade all the way to eighth grade is called Baneskule. Some people say, or is it not? Some people are saying no to me. Because I know that you have Ungdomsskole, which is ninth which is 8th, ninth, and 10th grade. So the system is very different. Here in Norway, your junior high would be 8th, ninth, and 10th. And your high school is 11th, 12th, 13th, and then some, in some cases, there is a 14th year. So your educational system is different, is really different. Just remember, high school does not mean high school. Eh, but does not mean that. High school is what you're doing now. High school would be college. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put this here. Big S, as in Vigorna, and then College, I'm going to put HS, Høyskole, and then University, which is a much higher degree. And I think it's really important that you have the system 
in mind for you to understand the differences too. So I believe I, I did some kindergarten and some preschool in the US. I did elementary school and junior high in Brazil and I did high school in the United States. I did college and some university in Brazil and I, I got my master's degree at the University of Western Sydney in Australia. So I have a very international education under my belt. But the systems are completely different when it comes to numbers. Now that we've talked this through, all I really need to know I learned in kindergarten. First of all, do you agree or disagree with this? Do you think you learned everything that you need to know in life in kindergarten? Just type yes or no in chat. What I want you to focus on now is on the text. I'm going to ask you to listen and read at the same time. I cannot stress enough. It, it might sound like a very stupid thing. And you're thinking, Pollyanna, why do I have to look at these letters while I listen? Well, trust me, if you listen to the word and you see it written down, your brain will connect what the word looks like to how it sounds. And you will also become a better speller. Some of you are fantastic at grammar and structure, but your spelling sometimes lacks accuracy. Maybe you write the word believe and you forget a couple of letters because it's not imprinted. It's not in there in your brain what the word looks like. You know what it sounds like, but you don't know what it looks like. So please, and I promise you, if every single time we do an exercise like this, if you look at the words as you listen, you will become better spellers. So let's listen and look at the words. I'm going to play the audio for you. volume as high as I possibly can so that everyone can listen but if not I'll give you a link so you can listen to it on your own remember you have to log in with your student login fade that I know one of you a cute little girl with braces you still don't have that done right so go talk to the IT person and ask them to fix it for you all I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten by Robert Fulgham All I Really Need to Know About How to Live and What to Do and How to Be I Learned in Kindergarten Wisdom was not at the top of the graduate school mountain, but there in the sand pile at school. These are the things I learned. Share everything. Play fair. Don't hit people. Put things back where you found them. Clean up your own mess. Don't take things that aren't yours. Say you're sorry when you hurt somebody. Wash your hands before you eat. Flush. Warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. Live a balanced life. Learn some, and think some, and draw, and paint, and sing, and dance, and play, and work, every day, some. Take a nap every afternoon. When you go out in the world, watch out for traffic. Hold hands, and stick together. Be aware of wonder. 
Remember the little seed in the styrofoam cup. The roots go down and the plant goes up. And nobody really knows how or why, but we're all like that. Goldfish and hamsters and white mice and even the little seed in the styrofoam cup, they all die. So do we. And then remember the Dick and Jane books and the first word you learned. The biggest word of all. Look. Everything you need to know is in there somewhere. The golden rule and love and basic sanitation. Ecology and politics and equality and sane living. Take any one of those items and extrapolate it into sophisticated adult terms and apply it to your family life or your work or government or your world and it holds true and clear and firm. Think what a better world it would be if we all, the whole world, had cookies and milk at about three o'clock in the afternoon and then lay down with our blankies for a nap. Or if all governments had a basic policy to always put things back where they found them and to clean up their own mess. And it is still true, no matter how old you are, when you go out in the world, it is best to hold hands and stick together. All right, let me see. I hope this is in the right place. So, here is my question to you. These are the things I learned, is what the author gives a list of things he learned in kindergarten. I'd like you to pick one that's very important to you and that you still use to this very day and tell me. For example, flush. I think that's one of the most important ones in all of those rules. Flush. Does everybody know what that means? I'm picking that as the most important one. Please type in the ones that you think are important to you. Share everything. Did anybody pick share everything as the most important rule? Can you really share everything? In this day and age, with everything that's going on in the world right now, you're going to share everything. Or you have to spray everything with alcohol before you, you let somebody use it. It's a different world. This book, this book came out in 2020. Am I saying, am I saying the right thing? Yes, it did. I started using it with my students who started Ho Bot L in 2020, in August 2020. So, no. Yes. But my point is, when the authors were writing this book, there was no pandemic. You will read the entire book. This year we're going to... Last year I didn't cover the entire book. But this year I'm going to cover the entire book. Most texts will be read and worked on. But you will see that there are no texts that reference the pandemic because it hadn't happened yet. So it was a different world. You can't really share everything nowadays. Say you're sorry when you hurt somebody. How many of you picked that as your most important one? I feel like it might be very difficult for you to pick just one rule that is important because everything that's on here 
is really important. Listen, I'm getting ready to go get for the third time and um, I'll leave you. You have until 2 o'clock in the afternoon to finish your work. So please do as much as you can. I assigned a lot of pages because today you have three hours of English. 45 minutes, 45 minutes, then 45 minutes, and 45 minutes. That is 180 minutes. It's three hours that you have to work. So I had to assign a lot of pages. Open Canvas, the school platform, where yesterday when I was at school, usually when I'm at school, I'm able to access Canvas really well. I set out everything that you had to do. Everything. On another note, I received a very nice message from Janice McGregor. Do you remember we had a, an interview with her earlier the school year? She is the lady from Canada with Guyanese background and she talked about racism, tokenism, colorism, she talked about BIPOC, she gave us a lot of knowledge and she made a video for you. I'm going to put the link in there for you to watch it yourselves. She is addressing all of you. Thank you so much for your kind words. I really appreciate you taking the time. So I, I would like you all to take the time to to watch the video. Is It's a short video that she made. And she's talking about some of the... We have talked about a variety of topics regarding racism this year. But one thing that we may have not addressed completely was white guilt. We talked about white privilege. We talked about racism. We talked about so much, but we didn't address the fact that sometimes there is a sense of guilt that, oh, I was born in this skin color and everything is easier for me. And she's addressing that. Very interesting video for you to watch when you have the time. She really wanted me to pass on this information for you to see. Wish me luck. I'm going to go get for the third time for my safety and yours. Because I travel from Trondheim to Selbu almost on a daily basis. And... I don't want to bring something and give it to everybody. Something bad, I don't want to. That's why I wear a mask in class and that's why I'm getting for the third time. Do your work. You have a lot of time to work on it today.